Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I hope y'all can see. Strip. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. I got the some old straps. They're pretty big. Mm -hmm. Mm. I hope y'all having a good night. I'm having some sweet red wine. It's good. Oh, shoot. It's wasted. And I just had taste for some shrimp. Oh. I got... Some barbecue meat. Mm. It's a weird combination. I really want some meat, meat, meat. <laughs> I'm scared to red. I guess you're wasted. How y'all been doing? Excuse the balloons behind me. My daughter do her YouTube. There, so here, so. Whew. It's hot. This stuff is hot. So, how y'all day been going? Tell me something good. Give me something good to talk about. Lord, y'all. It's something else. It's just, uh, this is just butter, garlic, and then different, uh, seasoning. And, um, mm, I haven't gotten into all that, how to make sauce and stuff. I got onion and, um, Mm. I didn't think of the name of it. Can't see the name. Ooh, it's hot, but it's so it's good. I think they jumbo shrimp. I'm not for sure. But yes. I've been doing pretty good since the last time y'all seen me. Ooh. I don't know what all I need to do. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't give some of these love so I got some lemon lemons right here. It's not bad. I've been like on a hunt. Like what is good? Good red wine. I drink it like I just open what my daughter bought me. Let me show you. Now I'm not a drinker. This will last me a while. But she bought it for me. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> Cause she said, Mama, this you can have you some red wine. I believe they say red wine is good for your heart. For <coughs> 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 Rika, I got in here. And um, I hear it's good for your heart. I don't know. Now when my now when my heart do get to bother me or something, just don't feel right. I do. Uh, I do it. Um, I don't know. And I'm not a wine drinker. I'm really not. That's why I've, I like wine that is sweet. I 
I don't like that. What is it called? Bitter taste? It have in there? I don't like that. Okay, I like it. So I like it when it's sweet and cold and stuff. It can't be a high percentage because uh, some wine I drink, especially the pretty wine and different flavor stuff, it hurts my bones. So, as long as it's not a big a percentage, I guess, on it. Uh-oh. When y'all drink mm -mm. wine and stuff, have you ever had it? Like, it feel like it attacked your bones? I'm going to tell y'all, when I drink certain wine, and I don't know, see, I don't know this, my daughter noticed that. When I drink a certain wine, my bones feel like, oh my God, they, they've been attacked. Almost, almost had me want to go to the hospital. That's how bitter it is. But, even when it's a low percentage, I still a glass a day. And I don't drink it every day. I just, I've been having that for three days. And, uh, I'm, I'm just not opening it. Oh, y'all. How big that is? Is that Jumbo Shrimp? I think so. But, uh, yeah, I've been trying. I don't know. I've been searching for just good wine. I know if some taste dry. I just like sweet wine. Because I'm not a drinker. And stuff. I can't go in there and just say, oh, I want this. So. And stuff. I'll show y'all a close-up of it. After I get through. It was funny because when we went, we were sitting, in, I was sitting in the car. Hmm. People were coming out there like, they were buying groceries. I mean, bags and bags. And then this little silver container. They were coming with. Mm -hmm. My little comments are darker. I think that's a little better. But, um, yeah, that's a lot. <coughs> I had to quit sucking on this. I'm going to have to quit sucking on it. But I can't. The sauce I make. And y'all are the kind of person that you can make something, but you can't go back and make it again. I guess it's best to write it down when you're making it. But I can't remember if I wanted to if I wanted to make this again, this sauce. I got garlic in here too. It's gonna come out different every time. I got stand prayed up. Stand say. I love them on y'all. Yeah. The feet or whatever that is, it grows me out. So I try not to focus on it too much. I want to try something to be loved, so. 
I have to wait till I get paid though. Everything is on a time limit nowadays. <coughs> Darn it. <coughs> uh, sorry. Sorry, y'all. It's hot and spicy. I don't know. I be wanting to get the juice off of it and the seasoning. But it's going to kill me to do it. <clears throat> Woo. Shoot. Y'all. But y'all. I didn't do it. What I do today? Oh, but it's resting. Mm -mm. I went with my mama. Took my mom to her house. And she, uh, washed some clothes while we was there. Oh. I feel that. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. She did some laundry while I was there. A lot of YouTubers are buying their home, trying to settle down, and buy their dream home, and stuff. Yeah, I swear my eyes get bad by the day. I really do. Uh-huh. But I was watching um who was that I was watching? Um Queen Naja. They looking for them my home and stuff. You get them good idea. Keep doing it. Uh, you you can get some good ideas from uh, the YouTubers and stuff. Like I know I need to work on my credit too before I think about doing anything in my life. Whew. I gotta work on my credit. I could have had it taken care of a long time ago, but I was trying to take care of other business. The only thing I have is uh, shrimp. That's it. I'm gonna give me a towel. But yeah, that's all I did. I took my mom home, came back. Um, so I was fixing this, the kids fixed them something to snack on. Ugh. And uh, I'll fix this because I want to do a, a video and stuff and I did that. So... Here I am. Yeah, I need glasses. It's okay. But, um, I'm so glad they uh, decided to go start, start school until September. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's not. In some places you see a lot of people, but in some places you don't. It's like, what do you think? 
where the people used to be. Cowtown. On the weekend, through the week, we had people there all the time. Cowtown is like the stockyard. It is the stockyard. Where the West was one. That's what they say. So it looked like a stock. It looked like a cowboys area where you ride your horses and your cows. You see all that. If you go in some of my beginning videos, I think, oh, no, 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 no. That's on my daughter's channel. I didn't do that. Well, we, she did a video on the stockyard. Well, people come and visit. Do you find yourself like in your state or your town? Well, people come and visit and stuff. Do y'all go visit? Do y'all go to it? I've been living there for a long time and I never, I will pass through it. Well, I never just went. You know what I mean? Like, go and hung out. I never did that. And stuff. And I don't know why. It's, it's very interesting. And there used to be a lot of people there. But since this stuff happened, baby, and they had built it up, too. They had built a lot of hotels and eating places. I would have been. Mm mm. Mm mm. Sorry. That, that one was soft or something. I don't really like the texture. Sorry. Uh, if something don't taste right, I won't eat it. If it don't taste right in my mouth. I'm not gonna continue to eat it. But um uh, yeah. I would have been going down there a lot. Ooh. And stuff. If this stuff wasn't going on. But like I was saying. If um uh, I'm so glad you started, decided to start school in September and, and start it now because I think that I have kids now that won't go back to school. And you know, some won't go back. Mm -mm. If they kids like mine, my mine's like to hug. She'll hug you. Everything. She hugs the teachers. You know, she's a hugging person. And I don't try to break that. Now, sure, you know, I'll watch, you know, I'll watch her, but she's been like that all her life, like she loves her teacher. She'll run up and hug them. She loves her friends. She miss them. They miss her. They'll run and hug her. Even up to the last day of school. I think some of them still follow her on her channel. They, you know, they really care for her. And to me, why would you send kids back to school and they're not for sure how you catch this stuff? They're not sure how you catch it. Another. And I'm like, um, that's not a good idea. Because 
We don't want to. We have to look out for our teachers too, just as well as we have to look out for our uh, kids. You can't send them teachers in there, and um, you don't know how they, this stuff is called. Uh, uh, uh. That's kind of person. I, I'm not gonna look out just for myself. Um, uh, I look out for everybody. That's just wrong. We're sending them teachers back in there like that. If they don't go, they lose the job, or you know something's gonna happen because the school they making the, they was gonna make the schools open, and that wasn't right. I mean, we we got our doctors and stuff out there, but you going out there and make a bigger problem? We still closing? They will uh, not for sure, but I think they still gonna close close stuff down. And you talking about opening up a school? Why would you open up a school anyway? You still want to close stuff down? But y'all, I was looking today. I was just, you know, drive riding by and looking at our world. It's not the same. The energy is not the same in the world. And I'm not just talking about from people. I'm talking about just like when you step out there, you go shopping or you go riding down your car, you ride down your street or you ride in your car and you ride somewhere. Man, it's not the same. It is not the same. It feels weird. Like, we have to get used to this normal and stuff. And uh, I had a, a weird dream. It was somebody. I don't know to say what the dream was about. But it gave me a headache. It really gave me a headache because I was fighting for this person. I mean, for their life. And uh, they were nothing to me. And uh, I was fighting for this person, this kid, as a mother would do for any kid. I want my kid. I'm fighting for the kid. And it was really getting me because I was waking up out of my sleep fit to start crying. I think God calmed it down because it was like, gather yourself together. It's a dream. And this is what I'm saying to myself in the dream. It's a dream. It's not real. Why are you, I'm asking myself, why are you stressing out? It's just a dream. Wake up. It's over. You know, because when I have dreams like that, my mother is here, so I would have went in there and woke her up and kind of been stressed, but I was worried, and y'all, we had been trying to skip this person for a long time. I was protecting this child, took my eye off for a second. Blue said, I turned my back and back, and it was gone. He was gone. And it was just sad. And, it, and I mean, I had honestly mindset, my, put my mind in order, like, this is a dream. You know? Don't let it get to you like that. Because in this dream, I was crying. I was hurt. I was everything. You just pretend to pretend. You know, it's like it's like it's like you are trying to protect a child from somebody who's trying to hurt them, and it's not even your child. All right, I can't tell you what the parent was. I can't tell you much about the child. I just knew I was trying to protect. Lord Jesus, I tell you, I didn't understand that dream, and I can't tell you all of it because I can't remember all of it. All I know is the what I'm telling you. And uh, that was, I mean, you know how you get them slight headaches, like it's real light? And you get in the film because you're crying in a dream, you crying and stuff. 
Are you really trying to protect this child? <clears throat> this is where you're trying to protect that child. That person who's trying to hurt me is really trying even harder. <coughs> I got on up. Anyway, like I, I feel like that if, when I try to sleep too long, I don't care if I go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning, I need to get my butt up no later than 11 or 12 because after that, I'm going to have all kinds of dreams. Okay. Hold up. Uh, no, really, I haven't been dreaming. I'm kind of, I had them dreams where before all this happened. Y'all, y'all wouldn't have to understand what I'm saying. I had a dream. I, I was, now I don't date. My daughter would be 11 years old. I haven't dated. And I don't plan on to. Let God send me somebody. Honey, think about you sleeping good. Guess who I was on a picnic with? And I know he married y'all. It's a dream. LL Cool J. Yes, I did. Yeah. And I said, yes, you know, I'm like, don't wake me up. Jesus, let me go back to sleep. Because, you know, you wake up. Somebody wake you up out there sleep. What's wrong? Can you turn the air on, please? And, um, me, put it on 60, please. I'm, uh, it's just on 60, huh? No, I'm finna be done, darling. Thank you. I'll be in there in a minute. Okay. And, um, honey, when I tell y'all, it was all good. Uh, that was the best picnic, the best date. I didn't want to wake up. I'm like, God, oh, please let me have that dream back. Let me go back to it. Why are you waking up? I'll be like, why y'all waking me up? I be having a good dream now. That was before all this stuff happened. I have dreams, and I have like, I guess, I, I'm missing the dating life and stuff. And um, L. L. Cool J. And he, and he ain't the only celebrity I had a dream about. You know, for it spread out my life. I had dates with, uh, what is his name? Nelly. I went on a picnic with him in my dream. In my dream. This is all in my dream. Nelly could have been in, I was in my 30s or my 20s when I went on a picnic uh, day with him. LL Cool J. I think I was in my 40s. When I tell you those was the best dates and then only God took me back to a, someone that was in my life that I really cared about. Also, I had a picnic with that person and he treated me so well, so good. I felt so good for the rest of the day. And you know, when you're not dating, boy, I tell you. Dreams like that would be like, dang, why if this stuff can't happen for real? Like in real life, these dreams be like, God, this is a teaser. God, you know, when I wake up, I'm like, God, please let me find a man like that. You know, that wine and dines this woman that makes her feel worth everything. Y'all, when I woke up, I'm. I want to do a lot of stuff. I want to pick myself up. I want to do some things and stuff. But uh, I have to tell y'all, it was critical. It really was. It was critical. 
I miss dating, but I don't because I want the kind of person I want. I'm not, I want somebody going to treat me good. Somebody going to, I don't have to worry about when they walk out the door, what they're doing. I don't want that. I don't want to have to worry about my kids. I don't want to have to. I just want to have a good time. I want somebody who truly is a family person. Who really loves the family. Who's going to really be there for them. In my relationship, I was always. I mean. My appearance, the way I look, everything was good. Uh, body, everything, I was all that. I have to say, when I was, you know, young, and then when you get to going through stuff, and then everything change on you, <clears throat> you know. Because I quit dating. I haven't dated. My ten year old was a blessing, cause it. I wasn't trying to have no more kids. <laughs> mm hmm well, Jesus, no. I wanted one more child. I wanted one more child. I wanted a little girl. My daughter got it. I probably don't have no, I got Jesus to help me raise her. And he been a good job. He been doing good. He helped me raise her. Still is today. And stuff. And it's, it's hard. It's really hard. And when I made this YouTube, that was the point of my life. I, I want to, I don't want to give up on relationships. But nowadays you have to worry about it. If, the people you date, if they're in their right mind, is they there for the right reason? Are they going to be faithful? Because in all my relationships, I was faithful. I was faithful in every relationship. I tried to play off on one, but I fell in love with the other person. The one that was treating me had uh, played off on me. The one that I was trying to play off with on him. I'm like, I want to do a day play off on me. I'm going to try to play off on him. I fell in love with the guy that I was dating. And I told the guy that I was trying to play off on, don't want you now, my own. Got to go. Because you don't, I don't give you that opportunity to, to keep hurting me. I'm that person. You play off on me once, that's it. It's over. Because... If this relationship was about anything, you wouldn't have played off on me that first time. And sometimes, like, do I regret it? Now, I'm friends with, 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 with some of them. I'm friends with them. And, uh, I don't regret not going, giving them a second chance or nothing like that. I don't regret it. But I, I went through a stage in my life where I was always like, why is I'm the good person? Why do I get played? Because I know everything I was doing. <laughs> get on the back. I was good with everything I was doing. It's just that they wanted other women and stuff like that. Or they want to be with someone else or whatever. And thought they can always come back. But one thing with me is that once you cheat on me. I don't go back. I don't care how much I love you. Once that's all. And y'all know this is bad. I have way off it said. When one don't treat you right, you find another get up under. Something like that. That song. I live by that. You treat me bad. I'm going to find somebody who want me. I'm not going to keep. Oh, you. I know you're sorry. You weren't trying to do that. Yeah, you was trying to do it. You tried to play me. But... And I love the sad part. I love, I love the people that I was dating. I love them with all my heart. I wanted to pick it white fence. I wanted to. 
And I, I mean, who, for it could be my first relationship, second relationship. I was the one who always trying to make it work. I was cooking homemade meals, have bath water ready, have all my little sexy stuff when they come home. They enjoy it. They didn't want me to do nothing. I couldn't, you know, no, don't do this. Don't go there. Don't do that. But they was doing their little thing, and I wasn't the kind of like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Because what happens in the dark comes to the light. I live by that. Everything you do is going to come to the light. Because God knows one thing I put God in. Like I said, I put God in everything I do. I pray. Especially when I don't feel like something is going right. Yeah, I couldn't eat all of these. Couldn't eat all of them. But when I feel like something is not going right, I had to, I have to let go. I don't care how much I love you. I'm going to cry. I'm going to boo-hoo. I'm going to have bags on my eye. Mm -mm. Apple eye. That's my dog. Apple eye. Don't want to hear it. We'll get him out of here. But yes, y'all, hold on just a minute. I'm sorry that was my daughter. But yeah. I don't know. I said, they try to play me. But I figure I say it like this, really. I must not have been too bad because of some fact. I'm friends with him. Not somebody I go see, but I can. Sp I don't hold nothing against nobody because it was my decision. If I could have stayed, stayed, or leave, I left. Everyone that tried me, kids, father, and all. But I did, I wanted to settle down so bad. Nobody wanted a relationship. I never had a problem with staying with a guy, one guy. I didn't even have, cause I guess I had, I was very spiritual in my relationships. I started very young, like I was very spiritual. So everything I done, I prayed about things and everything, but they was like, they wanted to party, or they wanted to try more girls, and stuff like that. One, I, one girl I was trying to get, I was really trying to get that one. Because mm -hmm. what bothers me the most is when I was young, too, I was in my 20s. When girls know you're dating this person, or the people around her knew, and they mess with you. And then, you know, and I, I'm not the kind, I don't like to say because the girl knew. The guy know. Yeah, what are you doing? Tell me you don't want me, you know. Don't lead me on like you want me. You want to go out there and try something else? Go. We can be friends. I was in my 20s, baby. My I was, hey. I had a body. I, baby, believe me. I didn't have a problem getting a man. I didn't have that problem. And I well satisfied mine. But I'm not playing with nobody. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and play. You want to um that's my last class because I'm gonna end it. Um I'm not gonna play with you. You want me or you don't want me. I'm not gonna beg you to want me. I'm not because I don't have problems having relationships. I don't have a problem having a man. I don't have these problems. Didn't have them. One guy cared about so much. And we were more like friends and I asked God, let me lean off of him. And I pray that God just take it away. You know, if it's not meant to be. And that's kind of personal. Because when I get my feelings wrapped up in you. If it's not meant to be. I ask God 
take me away from that situation. Put me somewhere else. And Jesus never let me down. Because it hurts. I'm telling you, I've been through some heartaches. Because I put my all into it. Even today, I won't date nobody. I want someone that wants something out of life. That's going to love me through my good and bad times or whatever. A God-fearing man. Want that? Now, I don't think I'm asking for much. Love me. Love my family. A God-fearing man. Someone who really trusts and believes in God. Uh... And help me raise my little 10 year old. You know, somebody gonna be good. Just make sure you're a good man. You're a man of God. We ain't got no problem. But, like I said, I'm not really looking. I don't believe in going out, I don't go to clubs. The closest I get to is going to, I used to go out and eat with my daughter now. But besides that, and I did all, everything I done was with family. And my mother could even say, sometimes break away, from, you know, before all this happened, break away from your family, your kids, and just go out there, you with your friends, and enjoy yourself. Because you just stay stuck under us all the time. You ain't doing nothing with your life, and you're going to regret it. Sometimes, yes, I am lonely. But I have sit back and watch other people in their relationships, the stuff they go through. And they bring back. Mm-mm. Because, see, I can't play them games. Like, at the age of 52, like my dad said, we don't play those games. We don't play those games. We don't play at all. At 52, you don't play. You get in the 50, you know what you want. You know? You ain't got time for nobody to sit here and play games with you. Uh, they won't you or you don't. You're a grown man. Tell me. You don't want them? Okay. Don't go sleep with somebody else and come back and think you're going to sleep. No. No. I'm God's child and I'm highly favored and uh, I feel it. I can tell. And women, you know, we got our two. Uh, what is it? Intuitions. We can tell when things ain't right. And I swear, everyone that tried it, I thought they was getting away with it. Guess what? Nope. Didn't get away with it. Didn't get away with it at all. I had one relationship that he 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 tried to drag at me. I showed up at that house all the time, ready to whoop that ass. Sorry, I was in my twenties, so you know in twenties we think we can whoop anybody. I'm ready to fight him and her and whoever else. But as I could, you know, then he found someone that treated him the way he treated me. You know, I love that woman today. Sure do. Didn't have nothing against her. She treated him the exact same way he treated me. He thought he, he was leaving me, doing stuff with her to hurt me. She turned that crap around real quick. Because the way he loved her, she didn't love him the same way. And he got exactly... If I see her today, I will hug her. I'm friends with him, too. Right now, I don't have no problem with him. I don't have no problem with nobody who cheated on me. None. Because I know my worth. And I know I was good. And I know I gave my all. I gave them a home. You know what I'm saying? I gave them a good woman. I gave them a God-fearing woman. And they wanted to run and hit the streets. And in my mind, it said, when I want something, I can get it. I'm going to get it. Y'all will see my, my journey, too. 
I'm going to get my shape back. I'm going to get everything back. At the age of 52, I'm going to get everything I want. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Because I haven't been that long. ever went that long without working out or doing stuff I need to do to keep in shape. But, um, I just started letting stuff get to me. Started bothering me and stuff. So I got off track. When I started the YouTube, I was like, I'm finna get on track. I'm finna get my life together. I'm finna start traveling. I'm gonna start doing some stuff. Start having some fun, living life, and enjoying life. And then all this stuff happened. I was so disappointed, y'all. I was. But it ain't gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep going. That's why I tell y'all to work with me because it's a it's a hard journey. It's a long journey. Because I'm coming from a mighty long, dark place. But it ain't dark. It's like, well, there's more stories, the more stories to tell. But it's just that um, when I started YouTube, it was a new beginning. Quit being scared to fly. Quit being scared to do things. Try new things and stuff like that. That's what more of my life was about. It's like, live life now. You know? Let God worry about your troubles. And don't sit there and if you're gonna let you gonna worry about it, don't pray about it. So and when this stuff happened, it just set mindset like, oh, I went back to maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe I shouldn't do a YouTube or uh, maybe that's a sign not to do it. You know, that's pretty much how my mind went. And then I was like, God is not here to stop my blessing. He's here to help me get them going. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll get it together, y'all. Just keep on watching my journey. It's going to happen. It's going to be all good. It's going to be all good. I'm happy. Yep. This new beginning. Don't let what's going on out there in this world... It is a new way of living. Just what it is. A new way of living. We got to learn to live this way. But you got this time. And this way of living right now. Is now. Put God first. In everything you do. Not yourself. Not your kids. Not your husband. Not your wife. You, you put God first. In everything you do. And from there, then you start from the line. Whoever else, I God first, and who second, who third, whatever. Let's live our life like that from 20 to 21. Because we don't know what 21 is going to bring. And I don't hear nobody saying, I can't wait till 2021, 2020, 2021. I ain't hear nobody saying that. You know, every year people be saying, oh, I can't wait till this year. I can't wait till this year. Not this year. Nobody is saying it. Nobody is saying it. Y'all stay blessed. Prayed up. Everything. Keep cool. Put God first in everything you do. Stay safe. Take care of your family. Let's live better. Let's do better. No better is to do better. Okay, y'all? I love y'all with all my heart. I don't have to know you. You are part of my heart. I care about people. I don't care who you are. I care about you. Stay safe. Pray it up. Okay? Love y'all. Bye-bye.